Okay, so I want to show you guys why I won't uh, do a tutorial for building for Mac. All right, so here, first of all, my Mac is screwed. Look at this. Ready? This is why Apple sucks, by the way. So also, enjoy that purpleness. Kind of see how it's just like flickering right there, the battery. Well, that's just I don't know why. That's my Mac. So I really didn't want to experience this. And right now, I am trying to manually test the game on my phone, but I can't really do that when it's flickering like that. That's an issue, right? So, <laughs> so then what I gotta do here is really annoying. So I gotta go to my setting, or I gotta go to my activity monitor, and you see this process, it's called USBD, right? And I just gotta keep force quitting this until my phone decides to actually just cut it out. And it's still doing it, it's actually flickering like, blah, on, off, on, yeah. See, it's very annoying. It's kind of hard to see because of the color. Maybe it's the brightness. Hold on. See, is that better? Yeah, that's much better. See how it's just flickering like crazy? Yeah, this sucks. I hate it. But I got to just keep doing this over and over again until it finally stops. And usually it refuses to do so for quite a while. Did it stop? I think it did this time, finally. Okay. Uh, nope. I jinxed it. So you gotta keep doing this over and over again until it stops. It will just look like it did. The battery stopped. Oh, come on. This is actually ridiculous. It's crazy how this has been an issue since I've ever st since I first started developing Crypto Clickers, which is three years ago. This is still an issue. It's absolutely amazing how. Apple can't even, again, I, it might be because I need a new Mac, and it's definitely not my phone, because I did it with my old phone. Okay, so the process finally just disappeared, so it appears to stop, but it'll probably happen again. So now I can finally uh, build right here. It says Zach's phone right here. So let's let's do it. <laughs> and, oh man, no support iOS device. Oh, see, it's starting to do it again. Right, I was, I was about to start building, and the process is back. So you pretty much just gotta keep force quitting until it actually does something. Um, it's it's insane. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why it does that. It's really annoying, and it's it's hard to get stuff done when this takes up at least fifteen minutes of the build process. Because building itself takes forever, right? That takes that takes like. 15 minutes as well and then waiting to upload to the app store that takes like 10 minutes so overall i'm spending less than almost an hour trying to get it done <laughs> this is why i don't like it because it's just a huge waste of time and the fact that i have to start building for more platforms now and building the steam is actually went much more complicated than the rest so i have to build the cartridge android ios steam itch and that takes up at least at maybe an hour and a half, which is why I don't do updates at the same time. It just takes up way too much time, and I and, and I get really like, I really get in a bad mood because I'm just doing the same thing, doing absolutely nothing, just a bunch of waiting, and I don't want to make a mistake because when I'm not focused and when I'm in a bad mood, I I tend to do that. Okay, see, it's still going. That I, I don't know. Restarting computer doesn't do crap either. Restarting like. The firmware settings, all that good stuff. It doesn't do anything. It's just absolutely unbelievable. I see settings on, or I see like forms online. Like, literally, all you gotta do is just click the force quit button and it just still does it. Clearly not. It's still an issue. And yeah, I'm gonna try one more time. Yeah, it says my, Mac, my iPhone isn't even like hooked up because it's doing it again. Anyways, uh, let's get away from that. It's uh, my luck is probably terrible as well. But what's also really complicated is this. Also, I don't have a screen recorder, so I'm really sorry if it's, like, not the best. Here, I can try. Let's see if that helps. Okay. So you got to fill all your settings here, which we do for build. Okay. Easy enough, right? You got to go to build settings. You got to, like, set up all these certificates and stuff. So all of these are set to Apple development, which is in the signing section and build settings. And setting up your certificates is not fun because if you miss one step, then something will not go wrong and you can just get really lost and confused really quickly. 
So once you do that, you're pretty much all set. You just need to set, um, adjust your signing capabilities like that. Obviously, this is not a tutorial. I'm just showing, like, obviously, um, there's more to this than just what I'm doing right now. And then you got to build for your phone, which I can't really do right now. And then you archive and you wait another 20 minutes for both of those. And then you got to publish it. And it's, it's honestly, in general, just a really crappy process. Like, it's worse than Steam. It's definitely the worst out of all of them. I hate iOS. And if you've, and if you've experienced, like, the CryptoClickers legacy version on iOS, you'll see that I'm terrible with updates. Especially if you are a test flight tester for iOS in the past, you can see how I'm really terrible with that. Anyways, thank you guys for listening to my rant. I hope you guys understand why iOS is not really fun. See ya.